Hello, my name is Perry Dillon. I'm a hardware engineer at Davis Instruments. Today we're going to be installing a drive right with the HD uh, install option, which uses a magnet and reed switch combination to generate speed. So the parts included in the drive right HD box are the user guide for the drive right 600E console, the installation guide for the HD installation, you have the inline fuses, which is a red wire. You have the reed switch, which has a black and white wire. You have the console extension cable, which has the same associated white, red, and black wires. We have the extender cable, which goes from 4 pin to 8 pin. We have the magnet with the stainless steel tie wrap, which is used to mount to the drive shaft. We have the insulation strip, which this goes on to keep the drive shaft from being magnetized. We have the mounting bracket. We have the support bracket. We have accessory packs, which contain the battery, the fuses, Velcro, uh, assorted electrical pieces. We have a mounting packet, which has uh, various types of nuts and bolts for mounting, for different types of mounting, different scenarios. Uh, not all these parts will be used. And we have another electrical pack, which has splices and um, T-splices as well. We have tie wraps to help you neaten up the wires. And we have the split tubing, which helps insulate the wires from the outside elements. We have the console. And these are the tools that you will probably need for the installation. We have this, which is a tension tool that is used to actually uh, help tighten this down. We have the deluxe tension tool, which is used in essentially the same way. We have a screwdriver, uh, wire strippers and wire cutters, a socket, a DVM, and a pair of wire cutters. So just to give you some idea of how these connect up outside of the vehicle is you have your console. The console connects to the extension cable. And then this connects to this extension cable here. The red wire would connect to the red wire here on the inline fuse and the other side would connect to your battery. The black wire will connect to the black wire and also to the ground. And the white wire will connect to the white wire here. This is the actual reed switch. The reed switch is actually mounted through this mounting bracket here. And then there's a couple nuts and bolts that back it to hold it in place. The support bracket and this can be bent to any shape or any manner or form to make the installation work. Um, Sometimes you will end up with some funny uh, bends and curves in order to make this line up with this magnet. A reed switch is an electronic device that is used to simulate a contact closure or to make a contact closure by using a magnet to close it. As the magnet gets in proximity of it, the two reeds in here, the little tiny uh, leads in here close together. And I can show this by hooking my meter to it. And as I get close to it, you'll see that the contact actually closes. And essentially, inside of here is a reed switch. And I can do the same thing with this. And as I get close to this reed switch, the contacts close. So we lifted the car up in the air, 
and now we're looking to mount the magnet and the reed switch. We're looking for a place on the drive shaft that has the least amount of travel. Um, we want to make sure that as the car suspension bounces up and down, that the point at which where we mount the magnet and the reed switch, that it does not move too much. So we've chosen this because it seems like a good stable spot. Uh, we're coming right out of the transmission and right before the drive shaft. You can mount it on the drive shaft, but here is probably our ideal spot. We have the insulator, which this protects the magnet from magnetizing this whole uh, assembly right here. And we're gonna attach it like so. And I'm gonna tighten it up by hand. Then I'm gonna use the tool to cinch it down so that it's very, very tight and that it can't slip off. Essentially what you wanna do is you wanna put the part of the tie wrap threaded through here, back onto this. This will grab onto it and as I pull it, it's making it tighter and tighter around here. And then what you wanna do is you wanna do a quarter turn and it'll break it right off. So now we have the mounting bracket and I've attached the reed switch to the mounting bracket. I've added the supporting bracket and added a smaller radius to it to get a little bit more support. I'm trying to keep the distance from the reed switch to the magnet to around 3 eighths of an inch to about 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, the farther away I go, the probably less likely it is to work. So you don't want to get too close to the point where if the car or this point does move around that it crushes into it, but I want to keep my distances between about 3 eighths to about 5 eighths of an inch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually drill into the frame and to mount this bracket. Now, when you're drilling around a car, you wanna make sure that you're away from any electrical, away from any gas lines, hydraulic lines, any fluid lines. You wanna make sure that you don't break the car. I'm using the self-tapping bolts to uh, mount the mounting bracket onto the frame. I'm going to tighten this down. We've mounted the magnet. We've mounted the reed switch. We do have a little bit of an adjustment that we can do if, in case something does go wrong and let's say we're not in the right, uh, or the, the field of the magnet's not strong enough to pull in this reed switch. Uh, we can always adjust these brass nuts right here to uh, make this a little bit closer to the magnet or a little further away depending on what we have to do. Uh, but that basically is the, the installation for the reed switch and the, and the magnet. And now what I want to do is uh, just get the wires and get them out of harm's way. I'm applying the split tubing to the reed switch wires for some extra protection from the weather and from uh, just keeping them in a bundle. And I'm pushing them in. And I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, can you see it? And just pushing it in. This provides some extra insulation. And this should be ran, run all the way through till you actually get to the engine compartment. Uh, one thing I did want to show you guys was that these ends are the ends of the reed switch. And essentially, this will connect to the ground wire, and this will connect to the white wire that's on the DriveRite 600.